Lakshman had approached Sugriva for help to find Sita and Sugriva realized his flaw. He immediately apologized and assured Lakshman that he would not rest until he finds Sita. Thus, the two brothers were finally at relief thinking and hearing that help has come and they are not alone. As Sugriva said, he made sure that all the vanars of his army went to different parts of the world and left no stone unturned to find Sita. A group of vanars went south, some in the north, some in the east and some in the west. A group of vanar army led by Angad and Hanuman went to the south to find Sita. They were looking everywhere exhaustively and did not take rest. Finally, they reached a river bank and they rested there. Everyone was so tired that they slept on the river beach and relaxed for a while. A little farther from where they had sat, there sat one vulture. The vulture was so powerful and strong, it had sharp eyes and a well-shaped body. However, the vulture had no wings and it was wingless. On spotting the vulture, the Vanar army started talking about the power and might of Jatayu. They talked about how Jatayu was courageous and brave enough to face Ravan and left no stone unturned to defeat him. It ultimately cost Jatayu its life, but it never stopped. While they were discussing the valor of Jatayu, the wingless vulture came near. They grew afraid thinking that the vulture might kill them and eat them. They told the vulture, "O oh vulture, please leave us. We are here on the orders of the king and we are in a restless state and exhausted. Please spare us and do not hunt on us." The vulture replied, "O oh vanaras, it is not every day that I see meal in front of me, but please tell me what you know about Jatayu. He is my brother and I, Sampati, lost my wings while protecting him." Hearing this, Jambavan, the wisest and the oldest, came forward and narrated the brave deeds of Jatayu. The wingless vulture started crying uncontrollably and felt terrible. After a while, he said, "O oh, wise vanar, I am Sampati, and I am so grieved and heartbroken to hear about the death of my brother. However, he died a courageous and righteous death." I want to honor him by helping you with whatever you need. Please tell me what brings you here and if there is anything I can help you at all with. Jambavan told him that they were searching for Sita and were trying to know where Ravan had taken Sita and captured her. Sampati's face gleamed with knowledge and he was happy that he could help them. He immediately told them that the demonic Ravan had taken her to Lanka and she was held prisoner there. The happiness of Vanar met no end. They immediately thanked Sampati and rushed to tell his news to Ram and Sugriva. Interestingly, Sampati's wing also grew miraculously as a sage had given him a boon that when he helps Ram, his wings would grow back.